Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make some lovely chicken schnitzel. Yeah, I have two pieces of chicken breast, which I'm going to butterfly and then give it a bash. This is already washed and rinsed. It's ready to cut. So cutting in between forms it into a butterfly. I'm quickly going to rinse my hands. Firstly, I'm going to cover my butterfly chicken to a piece of clean wrap. Now, by using my pistol, I'm going to flatten this chicken breast as much as I can by giving it a good bash. Here's my chicken breast. It is about twice the size that we started with. Now I'm going to do the same with the second piece of breast. Here's my two chicken breasts that I bashed. So now I'm ready to marinate. I'm going to use a grind of pepper. A grind of salt. A sprinkle of paprika and a sprinkle of garlic salt and a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm going to give this a good mix and allow it to stand for 15 to half an hour and thereafter we'll get ready to bread our schnitzel and fry. Now I'm ready to bread my schnitzel but before that I've got my stove on, medium heat and my one centimeter of oil is heating up in my non-stick frying pan but you can even shallow fry it or air fry it the choice is yours. Firstly, I have flour here, which is about quarter cup, and I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. And a grind of pepper. I mix this together, so my flour is seasoned. I'm also going to use one egg, which I'm going to break. To my egg, I'm also going to season by using a little bit of salt and also a grind of pepper. And thereafter, I have a teaspoon of oil that I'm going to add to my egg. And I'm going to beat this up together. Instead of using oil, you can also use a teaspoon of water. So this is done. And then to coat, I also have my breadcrumbs. At this stage, I'm going to use my hands. I 
I'll dip my chicken breast first to the flour. Then to my egg. And then to my breadcrumbs. And this is ready for frying. My oil is heated up and I'm going to gently place this chicken into the oil. It's going to be a very quick fry, three minutes on each side, because the schnitzel is very thin. I'll wash my hands and get back. Three minutes has passed us, and I'm ready to give this a turn. I'll allow it another three minutes and turn it again. My schnitzel is nice and golden now, so I'm ready to take it out of the pan. I am ready to put my next breast in to fry. And while this is getting done, I'll be ready to serve. Now I'm ready to assemble my fried chicken sandwich. We are using panini bun that we bought from our local store. We cut it in the center, made it into halves. Firstly, I'm going to take a teaspoon of mayonnaise and spread it evenly to the bottom piece. Thereafter, I have basil pesto, which I'm going to use a teaspoon. Thereafter, I'm going to place in my chicken. I'm going to place in sliced tomatoes. And then a crush of pepper and a grind of salt. And on top of the tomatoes, goes my lettuce and thereafter I put my top bun to finish it off. You can also cut this in half or serve it as it is. Here's my chicken schnitzel in a sandwich with basil pesto and mayonnaise. Thank you all for watching. This is a very quick recipe and I hope you all give it a try because this makes a very delicious chicken sandwich and enjoy.